everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my update for the Peeping Pan Project Pan. This is a collab with the Pantastic Ladies. The idea of this is to pick some products to work on. This is basically a progress or a goal-oriented project. Your products don't necessarily have to have a pan, even though this is called Peeping Pan. I jokingly in like the back of my mind call this the halfway house because you're really trying to get halfway or get some progress or hit a goal on a product and that's what this is about. Um, I have my products from last month and the two that I have actually hit goal on do not have a pan. The first two are the Hask Hawaiian Sea Salt Shampoo and Conditioner. They were all the way up here when I brought them in and both of these I wanted to get to this white line where it says sea salt and I have finally done that for both of these. So these are going to get rolled out because this project is all year long. I have lots of products that I am going to be rolling out and rolling in throughout the year. So let's get into the products that I was unable to hit my goal on and as I show them to you I'll let you know what my goal was and everything I'm going to keep in that I have not hit goal on. Okay, let's get started on the products that I did not hit my goal on. Another has Hawaiian Sea Salt product. This is the Making Waves Texture Spray. It was started up here in the neck and I am like the shampoo and conditioner trying to get down to this white line. I am at this purple line and I've learned something and that is I don't need a sea salt texture spray because what this is trying to achieve I already have like my natural hair texture and wave looks like beachy waves so I only need a few little spritzes of this and my hair is there so while I'm enjoying it and I actually like the smell of it I really don't need this product for my hair so this is going to take a lot longer than I initially thought it would Okay, my next product is from the Sephora Colorista palette. It is this gold eyeshadow. I barely even have a dip in this because I have so many eyeshadows going on right now, but I'm going to try to really work on this for the next month and see if I can't at least get a good dip and hopefully hit pan. Also from the Sephora Colorista palette is this blush. It is kind of like a peachy with gold glitter. I had hit baby pan on it last time and I was able to get to this little ridge right here at the bottom. My goal, I set a new goal for it, was to actually hit the ridge at the top. I have not been able to do that yet, but I'm so close. I wanna say probably in the next week or two, I should be able to hit that goal. And, and then after that happens, and I do my update on this project, I'm probably gonna repress it because it's getting really hard to work with, but I need to hit that goal before I can repress it. Okay, those are my three rollovers from last month. I am only gonna add in one product this month, and that is a Bare Mineral Shadow that I've pressed into this pan. This is in the color Phoebe, and there it is, there's Phoebe. And my goal is just to hit pan on this. It's a really pretty purple color. I do have some lighter purples that I am working on already, but I didn't have a nice dark purple and I really wanted to start working on this. So let's see if I can hit pan on this in the next month or two. Okay, that is everything for my Peeping Pan project update. I really hope you go check out all the other lovely ladies that have joined into this project. They are gonna be listed down below. If you're interested in joining our Pantastic Ladies Collabs Facebook group, that link is gonna be down in my social media and we would love to have you. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.